So before talking about what a mood board is, at this point in your project, you should be kind of defining what is it I would like my students to create. And I recommend that you all create the same kind of scene. You could relate it to a popular book, popular movie uh, that's currently in theaters or uh, something trendy that's going on. In my case, I'm going to just relate it to Robin Hood. Okay, why? Because we're going to be creating a forest and bringing in a character that kind of looks maybe a little bit like Robin Hood, if you like. Uh, and, you know, we're a little bit more limited because we have to use art that's available. Um, and uh, so this is where, depending on how you're teaching it, I've included it for a technology class. Because the truth is, you could just be teaching them the nuts and bolts, but you could easily incorporate this in a history, in a geography, social studies, uh, English class. Uh, if you wanted. Okay. So what is a mood board basically? Well, I found a definition. I thought it would be just easier to read that because it kind of does a pretty good job. So a mood board is a visual tool that communicates our concept and visual ideas. So it is a well thought out and planned uh, arrangement of images uh, for, for our environment that we would like to have. Okay. And in our case, we're not going to do a mood board for a character because we have to actually use the characters that we'll be able to have for free. Uh, so you could have students design a mood board for characters if you wanted. The, what would the perfect character look like uh, for their uh, environment if they could find it? Uh, but in, my, in our case, um, for the environment, it's quite good. So we're going to create a, a mood board for Robin Hood. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and it's to guide basically the creative process. It's to guide the design process. So we start with a, a, a sort of a plan and this plan can evolve. So I use Google image search. It's excellent. So I'm just going to type Robin Hood forest, but maybe just forest, you know, uh, what, what a sure would forest look like. And I click on images and I recommend that you use advanced image search so under tools no you could uh well in this case the usage rights don't really matter because we're not publishing this any anywhere it's just for our own inspiration uh basically so uh we're gonna find a bunch of images and copy and paste them basically so like i like this nice big photo here i'm gonna copy image and uh, in my case i'm gonna be using google drive and i'm just gonna create a google doc and I'll paste them in there, okay? There are some really powerful tools out there. One that's used in the concept art industry, and I think you can get it uh, for free, is uh, Pure Ref, okay? So you can also, maybe if you want to add that. Uh, uh, most of the time with my students, I just use Google Docs, and just because they already know how to use it. And uh, so maybe we want to write concept for forest in robin hood now you could use a different theme you could use a desert theme you could whatever if whatever you decide to do but if i know uh, what's available and one thing you could do before you decide with your students as on your own go to quixel and have a look at, at in bridge at the difference see here's a nordic forest well there you go robin hood happened um, in england this is probably what i'm going to use so you could click in here and go into the collection and already start using stuff. But normally with kids, I always do the research step first. It's really essential that they learn to visualize what they, they want. So I'm going to just paste this. Okay. So basically in your mood board, you're just getting a bunch of images that inspire you. So I'm going to copy image and just get a whole bunch of them, resize them. And I want to emphasize that we're not really looking for the character right now. We're just looking for some trees. And, you know, here's another one in for Sherwood Forest, the actual real Sherwood Forest. So that would be cool if we could find that in the program. It may not be available. Um, and, you know, there's all kinds of, and maybe you want to look at uh, Robin Hood Forest. Oh, look at this one. Really nice. So you basically create a mood board. And I would recommend that students get about 30 images and, and sort of maybe one idea I would probably do for sure in my classes at the end, students would share their mood boards either with the class or in groups uh, and discuss them with each other. And now if they're all working on the same environment, you know, they, they could uh, 
help each other out. Uh, so that's, that could be something quite useful. Okay, so once you have the mood board, uh, you're going to be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.